Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Brad. Brad! <laughs> Whoa, Brad remodeling the kitchen. No, it did it by itself. Oh, did it? Yeah. Um, it is uh, March 18, 2018. It is Sunday afternoon at 3.15 p.m. Excuse me while I drink some coffee. Um, yesterday Brad worked an open to close, um, which was a very long day for both of us. He was really, really very tired and in some considerable pain by the time he got home. But he had a good day at work. He got, he got, um, he got some good news about, um, you know, what he was wanting to do with, with, uh, his management part of, of, of the liquor store and stuff. So things are getting set up that will, um, more conducive to what Brad's plan, master plan, and his boss's master plan is uh, over the liquor store. So, I'm really happy for him. Are you happy? I are happy. Mm hmm You know. Um, and I, uh, dusted him back in the front room and picked it up some, and I, you guys saw they made those dog beds. Um, and, uh, the dogs love them. Right, hon? Mm -hmm. And I also did sweep. I didn't mop the kitchen because I couldn't find the mop. I didn't know where it was. Brad said it was in the pantry, and I didn't know that. So, um, but, and then I made a uh, uh, pig and blanket and tater tots because Brad was coming home late, and that reheats beautifully. So, um, we stayed up. He stayed up a little bit later than he planned to, but, you know, it was like a really good episode of uh, Game of Thrones, and uh, where it led where you really need to watch the next episode. So, um, and anyway, he need he needs a certain amount of downtime anyway. That's him shaking his big bubble cake. <laughs> and, um, I worked on a hat. I'm not quite done, but I was starting to see double. And I thought, I better put it down for the night. And, but I, th I love how it's turning out. I really do. I'm really digging this. Um, so I'll finish that today and probably start another one. I didn't get any painting or anything else done. I wasn't feeling that hot yesterday. I was very congested and just kind of, um, short of breath. Had to use my inhaler a few times. Um, just fighting a little bit of head cold, nothing major. I do feel better today. I had a rough night sleeping, so did poor Brad. Poor Bradley was, uh, did you say you not go to sleep till about five? Yeah. And then you got up at 7.30. Got up at 7.30. And, uh, because he had to uh, go run an errand. And then he needed to go, um, he wanted to clean out the RV a little bit better. He was meeting, meeting. He was supposed to meet potentially two people over there. But he only, he only met one. Because. I've heard bad things about the other guy. No, not that. Because what? We sold it. Yeah, because he didn't need to meet with the second guy because the first guy bought it. And Brad, it wasn't about getting as much as we possibly could out of this. I mean, I know that sounds funny and maybe we're kind of, you know, silly for that. But, you know, we're not out to gouge anybody. It's an old used RV, you know, and it needs work. And we didn't even go in. We cleaned it, but we didn't clean, clean it. They'll have to go in and clean, clean it. You know, like sh vacuum and shampoo carpets and, you know, scrub stuff. Because, you know, it's sitting where there's no electricity. And I just was too sick to do it. And Brad had too much to do. We were doing all this while he's working and stuff. So, you know, we reduced the price naturally. So, uh, we accepted an offer that, you know, we're very happy about. And, um nice elderly uh, couple um, that just wanted basically to fix it up to have kind of like an extra extra room for when they have guests because they said they have a small house they don't really have any place for their guests to stay so that would be perfect for the, this RV um, you know because I mean that's basically all they're going to use it for is basically just to have people sleeping so um, honey Huh? Did you want to talk at all? Or? Oh, well, yeah, I can. Oh, I just, I... No, I didn't want to. No, but I mean, 
talking yeah. about the the couple that are buying the RV. Yeah, very nice couple. Uh, retired. Oh, did you meet her too? Was she yeah, there too? Yeah, she was okay. there too. She looked it over and yeah. Then they went. And, oh, that I forgot to tell you about. They have a uh, a newer Jeep Grand Cherokee. Oh yeah. Uh, Two wheel drive, which is kind of waste of a Jeep. Yeah. Um, but That's the norm around here. Yeah, they got a very good deal on it because. They had to repair the bullet holes and uh, um, replace the passenger seat. Yeah. Somebody die in it? I'm, yeah, I'm thinking so. Yeah. Yeah. But they got a good deal on it. Yeah. 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 I would do it too. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they had to, they had uh, the... There was a couple of panels they had to replace because they had bullet holes in them. Wow. And then they had to replace the passenger seat belt because it had a bullet hole through it or a, a so bullet somebody had probably it. died. That's what I was thinking. Wow. Yeah. Where did it come out of? What? Tallahassee? I, I, I would assume so. Wow. I, that just freaks me out. Yeah. It, wow. only had, it only had just a little over 5,000 miles when they got it. Really? Yeah. Wow. And it was through... One of the rental cars, Avis, or actually, I think it was through Enterprise. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they know how to scout good deal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we didn't bother to to call the other gentleman <clears throat> because you know, uh, you know, I don't know how you leave. You were gonna go home and talk to me or something. Yeah. And uh, um, uh, you know, Brad told me and you know what what the final offer was and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. That's you know, we had a bottom price that we were willing to accept, and and uh, you know, like I said, we weren't we weren't wanting to make buku bucks off of it. It would be enough for Brad to get a shed and for um, us to get fencing for the dogs, which I'm so excited about, and uh, to put a little bit of money back in case like the jeep breaks down yeah. or yeah. something like that. You know, um, yeah. well, I'm gonna get probably the shelving unit from Amazon it's got like doors on it it's like the cubicles but it's got like 20 cubicles but they've got doors on them clear doors well it's not clear they're um, kind of frosty looking um, but that would be really nice for the yarn and stuff yeah. and it would really be a big base save so uh, and I think Brad's gonna get one that um, it's kind of a wardrobe one I'm not sure if you've decided yet or not yeah. I haven't thought about it. You know, it. Um, he'll decide what he wants to do yeah. unless he wants to hang another bar. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it also depends on how big a shed we decide on. Well, I know, but I mean, for hanging your clothes and stuff, honey. Yeah. 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 You know, unless you're going to put another bar on the other side or something. Over on. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, and I might even do that. Yeah. You know, it's one of those where I'm kind of. Wait and see it. What? Missy's Missy put herself to bed. Did she put herself to bed? Yeah. Yeah, she's in the kennel. Last night when I went to bed, Missy and and Angel were in the bed in the kennel, sprawled out on that dog bed. Uh, mm -hmm. They all love the dog bed except for Nixie. Likes to lay on the tile. She always likes to lay on a cool surface. Yep. So anyway, so that was great news. I'm very thrilled about that. Um. We'll go and get stuff notarized tomorrow. We'll have to pull that stuff out tonight, the title and stuff. And then Brad will meet with the gentleman Tuesday morning. And, uh, you know, that way it will give us time to, are you going to look at those RV covers? Those tire covers, I guess. Yeah, there's, right there. yeah. And, um, you know, anything else that would go to the RV. Uh, probably my key off my key ring to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thrilled for them. I mean, if that makes it where they can have family come visit, and, and, you know, have a place for maybe grandkids to come sleep yep. overnight or something. That's great. You know, yep. I know some people buy old-use trailers, travel trailers, and RVs as storage. Yeah. You know, they use it to put storage in. I know of some women that have, have, have made it into, like, a craft, really? craft area. Oh, cool. Yeah. You know, or some guys have. You know, some, I know one guy kind of gutted it, put in, put in just a wood flooring, and he was using it to be able to cut wood and you oh, know cool. so you know there's always a purpose for everything yeah. so then when Brad when he came home told me that then I mean we were happy but I was still really tired and he was so he, he laid down we, we uh, 
took naps. I was still in yep. bed. And then, like I said, we got up and we went uh, into town. We grabbed a quick lunch at Burger King. And then we went to Dollar Tree because I really wanted to go to Dollar Tree. And get some more containers. I always laugh because we'll... we'll I want to celebrate. Dollar Tree! <laughs> you, well, no, you'll say, oh, I want to go to Dollar Tree because I just need a couple things. Well, but then sometimes I'll go months. I know. I'm just kidding. I know. But um, sometimes I'll go months and not go yeah, you know to I Dollar know. Tree. Um, you know, to me that is kind of fun because you you don't have to worry as much because, you know, everything's a dollar. And, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, yeah, and I wanted to get those markers because for work because trying to make trying to make sale signs and stuff, yeah. you know, just something to give it a little color. Well, you're going to have to, you still have your, um, uh, I was looking for the thing for the, there it is. It's kind of hot in here. Oof. There we go. Turbo. Um, do you still have your briefcase at work? Mm -hmm. Oh. No, I think it's in the bedroom. Why don't you start carrying that to and from work with some of your stuff that no, you No, because I've got an area where I'm starting to stash okay. the stuff that... Because you know that big marker you bought me? Yeah. Or you bought to make that sign? If you want that big black marker, you, and that would be... No? That's too big for what I need. Oh, well, I have smaller ones. Okay. And now I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... Not... I'm going to withdraw my offer. Now I'm withdrawing. Okay. Run away! So anyway, we're having a good day. I'm very glad that RV is sold. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I hated seeing it sitting there. Um, we we're very grateful to get it. Yeah. I am grateful, even though it was really damn hard living in that RV. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm not even going to pretend. Uh, neither is Brad. Yeah. But I am grateful for it every time I look at my dogs. Yeah. And I look at where we live and stuff. Uh, it was a hard time, but we got through it. Yes, we did. And um, we're, we're, you know, stronger for it. Mm -hmm. You know, we're closer than ever. But when you live that close to somebody, you better like them a whole lot. <laughs> I tell you what, because, I mean, that toilet was about six inches from my from where I was sleeping, wasn't it? Yes, it was. I mean, they talk about how hard it is in, in, a, uh, in a prison cell. Yeah, well, that toilet was six inches from from where I sleep, and it does not flush. So, you know, yeah. and Brad having to take it, you know, every couple of nights down to empty it and having to take laundry down to do, mm -hmm. having to take the dog for walks and stuff. You know, I do all the laundry here. I mean, we'll probably go maybe on the first of the month. We've got a bunch of like comforters and stuff that need to be washed. It won't fit in that, that washing machine. But, you know, I do all the regular laundry. Uh, he does take the dog about once a day for a little walk, the big ones, because they just like to go for a walk. Mm -hmm. And they expect it. You know, I mean, we can. He 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 can do number two here in his own home. Because I mean, <laughs> I think can, about it, guys. Can do number one in my own. Home. Well, yeah, but I mean, for a long time, you know, he went down the bathhouse every time he had to do that. And I mean, uh, we also. Uh, I mean, I can shower anytime I want. I, Brad probably laughs every time when I shower at night that I come out and I'm just smiling. Mm -hmm. It's just so nice to go in there. All my stuff is already in there. I just, you know, I can take a shower and put my lotion on and my body spray and stuff. And, you know, i just happy about it. So, anyway, things are getting better. We were talking about that. You know, we got a place to live. Brad. Pretty happy with his job overall. You know, my we with, sold the RV. My biggest issues with the job is trying to convey what I see needs to be done to the owner. Right. You know, because he's... He's just looking at dollar signs. He's looking at dollar signs, and I'm looking at what I could do. You're looking to, at potential dollar signs. Then, yeah. Good. He's looking at outgoing, and Brad's looking at what could be potential income. Yeah. And so then the owner kind of panics because of the outgoing, and Brad's like, but, yeah. you know, if you stick with me, 
look at how the business is increasing and if, if you know, we were doing things my way, they would be even more increased. And he's starting to learn, right? I think so. Yeah. One of the things I didn't tell you about is I checked out a um, proposal to him to uh, put in a humidor and handhold cigars. Oh, nice. And, I mean, it's going to be probably a $1,500 to $2,000 right. investment. But, you know, I see it. I see that always looks so classy. When you had that other liquor store, it always, mm -hmm. it did look very classy. It was nice. You know, it was nice, you know, but, um, you know, and to, we're getting the doctor situation resolved. We have appointments tomorrow morning, so things are getting better, right, Charlie? Dogs are ecstatic. They are so happy all the time. It's just ridiculous. Every night when Brad gets home now, or Charlie wants to play with me in the daytime too, but he can't play as hard with me as he can his, his dad. So, go ahead and step on stuff. Yep, don't mind that. Right. That was, um, that was like, um, light bulb there. Yeah, thanks. Cool. <laughs> but every night when Brad gets home, this dog, well, is just, like right now, all over Brad and wants to play and, and, <laughs> Brad's chair turns. Our chairs, they do swivel. The Brad, uh, Charlie will turn him all over the place. <laughs> wow. Like right now. I think he wants you to pet him. He's a little happy. But the dogs are so happy. If <laughs> you could hear him. Charlie. What are you doing? He's being a happy are boy, Daddy. Happy boy? Are you being a happy boy? He loved his daddy. Oh, oh he my god. The... Oh whoa! Yeah. Really, Charlie? Come here, let me see it. No. No, let me show these people. Let go of it. <laughs> let go. We did already. Look. <coughs> both ends off. Wow. Dad said you were going to chew it up right away. I thought you at least let it last a day. No. He does nothing more than I vacuum and the dog has to shred whatever stuffed toy he had all over the floor. And I'm like, really? I just vacuumed. Right, honey? Oh, so what do we have planned for today now, honey? Um, nothing. Oh, oh, nothing. Remember, you're going to take it easy today? Mm -hmm. Take it easy today, honey, okay? If you do I, stuff, I got to do stuff. I am exhausted. You are exhausted, okay? If you do stuff, I got to do stuff. Well, yeah. And I just want to, like, finish my hat and stuff. I might start a 5D. Okay? Okay. But, yeah, I, I still got to get magnets. I thought you, oh, you didn't get any there? Didn't have any. I might have a package of, of some, I think. I thought you had a roll of magnets. Well, I, I don't want the roll kind. I want the thicker kind of what I'm doing. Okay? okay. It's Missy and Charlie ate the french fries. Oh. Yeah. Those French okay. Yeah, the French fries that we didn't we didn't we didn't eat at lunch. Yep. Yeah. No, I still think that's so funny because uh, you know, we would go we would order at Burger King years ago, we would order at Burger King what we ordered today. Mm -hmm. And uh Then didn't you get large fries at that time too? Yeah. And uh, you know, I would blast through mine and I'd be looking at yours mm -hmm. with lust in my eyes and now it's like I told Brad today we should have just ordered an extra sandwich because, yeah. you know, once we get done with sandwiches, we can't eat. Yeah. Either one of us eat a small order of rice, so, yeah. you know. So. Yeah. But anyway, it's a good day. I'm happy. Life is improving. You know, sometimes you got to give up everything in life to improve, to make a better life. Yeah. you got to step away from the negativity in your life whichever way it's coming and if that means that you have to sacrifice almost everything you have and jump into the unknown which is exactly what we did yes we did then that's just what you have to do because we did not know a soul out Ooh. here when we came out here sometimes you gotta take two step backwards to go four steps forward that's right and I tell you it was hard it was hard in the RV it was Hard because yes, I have social anxiety. 
I particularly have social anxiety around a lot of people that are drinking, and that's what almost everybody there was doing. Yes. And um, there, there were some professionals there. Yeah. And, I mean, there were some wonderful people there yeah. and stuff that you do miss, but, um, you know, the drinking and stuff. Um, and the amount of wood smoke that you couldn't even step outside or anything, uh, you know, it just, yeah, not a good deal. But, like yeah. I said, you know, it was a long, hard struggle, and I spent a lot of nights up crying because, you know, not wondering what was going to happen and stuff, and, you know, and like I said, not knowing anybody, and then, you know, thinking that maybe moving away that maybe it would make um, make family miss you and reach out and that did not happen and that's okay you know uh, it's just like everything you're not always going to fit in with your family you know the dogs are playing you know but yeah you're not always going to fit in with your family and that's okay um, just because you're <laughs> in a family doesn't mean that that you're all going to like each other particularly, you know. <laughs> wow, Mama. She yeah. kind of like the senile woman who just kind of, yeah. She goes her own owl way. And, uh, but yeah, it was hard. It was very hard. I mean, we got here and things were vastly different than the website showed. And we, specifically in Panacea, not from what they said about Crawfordville, really. Really? No. Okay. Pretty much the same, but. Same yeah. as it is. But yeah. Panacea, yeah. And we thought, what the fuck have we gotten into? And we kept hearing the song Deliverance. And, oh. you know, it's, yeah. Hmm. Well, you know what I tell, I don't know how long this is going, but. We don't care. I kind of prattle on to. That's okay. I, you know, when we were over the years working retail in Wyoming. I don't know how many times over the years I heard how hillbillyish and backwoods we are, and so when and no culture. Yeah, no culture. And uh, moving to Florida, I kept thinking, God, I'm going to have to start acting like an adult, and and I thought they were going to probably laugh at us. Yeah, and, and uh, no, no, not in this area. No, no. Nice, no. nice, nice people. Well, this area is a little more educated though than. I mean, I'm not cutting down Panacea. It's a nice area. It's beautiful. Nice people. Um, you know, it's got its, its problems. Um, you know, a lot of hardship economically and stuff. Um, you know, a lot of closed up buildings, falling down buildings and stuff. Um, you know, a lot of people that kind of have given up on life because, you know, they used to be fishermen and then, you know, they came in and regulated so, many, so much of the fishing laws that they had to because they were killing the ocean. They were killing the ocean life. I mean, at the rate they were fishing out of that bay and stuff, there wasn't going to be anything left. Yeah. There isn't much left. And, um, but, yeah, I mean, imagine the shock. Two people from Wyoming. We finally get here. It was a hell of a trip out. It was yeah. just, oh my god. Yes, it was. And, um, we kept getting lost, and <laughs> we kept leaving stuff behind, and, you know, Poor little lawnmower didn't even make it out of Casper. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, we thought, what the hell are we doing? Yeah. I mean, we didn't regret it. No. We weren't going to turn back. But no. we thought, oh, my God. And, yeah. you know, but we adopted. Yeah. Things move slower here in the South. I'll tell you that. They move slower as far as medical and everything. Oh, yeah. You know. Um, Nobody gets too worked up about it. No, no. And, um, I love it, though. People, to me, are a lot nicer than they were in, to us in Wyoming. I feel like I can finally be myself without feeling judged. Sure, people look. Sure, people stare. Whatever. That's just a part of life. But mm -hmm. I don't feel like people are judging me or whispering, you know, or anything. And I just, I feel free to be me. You know, I never, you know, when you feel like, what you should get from your family is acceptance and love. And what you get is the opposite. You know. Um, mm -hmm. I'm talking about like from childhood on. Then you you, you learn how to, to find it in other ways. Yeah. 
Yep. We move. We aren't judged. Nobody saying, hey, aren't you related to so-and-so and so-and-so? Nope. <laughs> you know. I'm just known as, as his wife and as as the crafting lady. You know. Um, you know. Yep. I'm just known as kind of the grandmotherly type that sits out there with her dogs and waters her plants. And, you know, you guys here know that I do a lot of crafts and painting and homemaking stuff. And, you know. I love him. He loves me. And we're just happy that we're here. With, yep. We like we like our home. We do. We like our home. We thank everybody that helped us get reestablished in a home, yeah. especially the beds and stuff. Yeah, we bought the mattress and stuff. But like the um, platform made such a big difference. That so nice not having to get up off the floor at night. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. it's just, when we can't sleep, it's not because we're uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, we are, but it's not because of the mattress. It's just, yeah. we need to get back on our medication and stuff, and then we'll be able to sleep better. Um, but yeah. that's coming. Yep. And. Tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say, honey? Uh, nope. No. You've done, you've done a good job. Like said, we just want to thank everybody that helped us get reestablished yes. in the home and and stuff and, and everybody that just wished us well and kept cheering us on when we were getting really down you guys don't know how down we were getting around Christmas time and after Christmas and stuff I mean yeah. we both were very depressed you know and uh, we just knew and then out of the blue when you least expect it when my husband says you will not spend another summer here in the RV park and then a week later, yeah, what the heck? I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't expect it to, right. to go like that. I know. Isn't it incredible? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get off here, and remember that I love you guys. I am going to do my comment uh, later on this afternoon, and I cherish your friendship, and I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. Bye.